Hi there, this is Shrikan Nasari. So in this lesson, we are going to introduce ourselves to uh, programming uh, in Java. So Java is uh, one of the world's most popular languages, which has uh, created in the year uh, 1995 by James Coslings. So there are uh, many features for uh, Java programming language. Uh, one of the main features is it is uh, architecturally neutral. Okay, so that means uh, you can write uh, Java programs once and you can run it uh, anywhere, uh, depending upon the uh, JVM you are using. Okay, so if you have the JVM installed uh, to that particular architecture and you are uh, good to go with your uh, Java program. Okay, so you can run it on any architecture. Okay. So first, let us uh, uh, look into the IDE. Uh, here we are uh, going to use. Okay, so here I am using uh, NetBeans uh, 8.0. So to obtain NetBeans uh, IDE, so just go to Google and type it uh, NetBeans here. Okay, so you go to uh, NetBeans.org page here. Okay, so there uh, you have a link uh, to download uh, in the right hand side. Uh, okay, topmost corner of the right hand side. So click on download and you can have a wide variety of options here. Okay. So before uh, downloading uh, and installing NetBeans, uh, you need to have uh, to install uh, uh, JDK, which is very essential to for writing uh, uh, Java programs and as well as uh, installing NetBeans IDE. So JDK, uh, if you want to obtain JDK, just type it uh, Java in the Google and it leads to um, oracle.com website which is a wide variety of websites and choices you have to download the JDK. Okay. So here top downloads, you can select Java Standard Edition. So Java Standard Edition or JDK and everything are one and the same here. So here you have by the time of this recording, uh, uh, Java Standard Edition uh, version 8 update 20 is the most recent one. So you can click on the download and you can select your architecture and accept the license agreement and you can select the architecture. So here I am using Windows 7 32 bit uh, and you can select this option for my PC. So if you are with uh, Windows 64 bit, you can select the 64 bit option. And if you are using Mac OS or Linux, whatever you want it, okay. So if you click on download and it starts downloading, okay, takes no time. And then you can download it and install it, which is very straightforward. And coming to NetBeans ID, uh, here you have a, a wide variety of options here. NetBeans for Java Standard Edition, for Enterprise Edition, C, C, C and C++, HTML and PHP, and all includes uh, each of these programming languages. Okay, so my suggestion is to download and install uh, this this last one here. Okay, which is roughly uh, 210 MB. So if you have that. Um, so you are good to go with all the uh, programming languages like C, C++, HTML, PHP. So wide variety of uh, 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 programming languages uh, you have, can do uh, within the same ID here. Okay. Uh, so if you click on the download, it leads you to the download uh, link and it's your download starts automatically <coughs> depending upon the browser you are using. So you can download and install uh, NetBeans after you, uh, once you first you have to download and install the JDK. Uh, which you can obtain from oracle.com and go to google and type jdk or java download so after that you can download and install this campaign id then you are uh, uh, good uh, up and running with uh, doing programming here okay so okay so in my system i have installed uh, netbeans 8.0 already so i have to click on this uh, option here okay so i have made it uh, pinned it in the taskbar here okay so it looks like this uh, netbeans 8.0 id interface NetBeans is a very powerful tool to uh, to code it in Java, PHP, and wide variety of languages like HTML5, projects, JavaScript, and everything. Okay. So before writing a, a Java programs in NetBeans IDE, first we need to create a project here. Okay. So to, to do that, uh, let's go to File, a New Project, and select the Java uh, categories, uh, Java option in the categories, and let's select the Java application in the right hand side under the projects here. Click Next. And let's name our project as uh, Hello World, which is very introductory. So it says that Hello World already exists. Okay. So let's say, so intro to Java here. Okay. So even though it says it already exists here. Okay. So let's say Java Hello. So let's click finish here. <coughs> So NetBeans creates a project uh, for us, okay. 
so since we are uh, uh, learning about uh, the uh, very first time here uh, so let's get rid of all those things whatever the netbeans gives us automatically since we are learning uh, uh, very introductory to since we are in very introductory lesson uh, in java programming so let's do uh, our uh, coding on our own here okay so that means id uh, provides with all the basic stuff like packages and everything okay so the very first statement uh, in a java program uh, is going to be a package okay so package so what is a package in detail we'll study in the subsequent lessons so by now you say that uh, you you think that the java package in java is a collection of classes okay so given uh, stored under name called package here okay so the next statement would be public so class so java hello here okay so java is a, a truly object oriented uh, programming language okay so java is a, a, a truly uh, strictly object oriented programming language uh, so everything uh, we need to have uh, in uh, java in classes here okay so it's truly object oriented programming language so whatever you want you write the code you need to encapsulate that in uh, a class here okay so class is also known as a blueprint okay so we'll we'll study in detail about the object object oriented programming features of java in the subsequent lessons so for this introductory lesson you think that uh, so everything uh, java is a, a strictly object oriented programming language and everything uh, you have in java must be encapsulated inside a class here okay so for that reason we have written uh, uh, public class java hello here okay so java hello is the name of our uh, uh, is a fine name here okay so here if you observe uh, java hello is a name uh, given to our uh, uh, code file here okay a source file java hello so it's not mandatory to have uh, the, the name of the class as uh, uh, name of the source file here okay it's always a good practice to follow uh, to maintain uh, a name of the source file as the class name here okay so here we have public class uh, uh, java hello which is the name of the class okay so let's write uh, the main so main is going to be very different uh, in java so which is which goes like this public static void main okay and uh, string args here okay so here we have main which is very different uh, if you observe in other programming languages like c c++ and uh, other languages main is just int main or void main here, here okay so here in java it's a bit different uh, here we have public and static uh, keywords added to that and also we have uh, arguments uh, later we write uh, we learn to write uh, command line arguments uh, in a program so for that purpose uh, uh, we need to catch those command line arguments we need to have a string uh, uh, string args in our uh, uh, arguments parameter section here in the main here okay so public here means uh, the main should be accessible throughout the project in every class here okay so for that reason we have named the main as public here okay so static which means that uh, so main should be called automatically so without instantiating the class which contains the main here okay so for that reason we have uh, name uh, we have made our uh, void main as static here okay so why is very straightforward uh, that this which means that it does not return anything here okay so to print um, some text to our uh, output window in java uh, we need to use this uh, print ln method okay so it goes like this system dot out dot print ln here okay so this is the beauty of netbeans uh, it automatically suggests suggests whatever the methods that are uh, there inside this uh, system class here okay so if you are using a good id uh, good tool like netbeans uh, you need not remember all the thousands of methods which are stored inside uh, uh, the various classes in java here okay system dot out dot print ln is the method which you are going to use here okay so inside that let's say hello world from java okay a small message so now we are done with our uh, hello world program in java which is like here just like this here okay so to run this program in netbeans id uh, there are uh, 
number of rays here to, to, to press this uh, this little triangle green triangle button so it compiles and uh, runs your uh, small uh, java program here okay so here so hello world from java so whatever the message you have written in the system.out.println gets displayed in the output window here okay so if you go to your program so to revise once again uh, so here we have written a small program uh, with sole purpose a small java program with sole purpose in life is to just to print the hello world message on the output window here okay so to get up and running uh, we have uh, uh, chosen this small program here so first starting with the uh, line here uh, the package uh, the every java program starts with a package uh, and a couple of import statements also which we are going to see in the next lesson so package is nothing but is a collection of classes okay stored under a single name uh, called package name here and next we have a public class java hello statement which means that uh, since java is a uh, strictly and purely object oriented programming language so whatever you uh, write the code uh, must be encapsulated inside a class okay so for that reason we have taken a class of uh, public which is public uh, that means that it is accessible to anywhere uh, to any other uh, to any other class or to any other uh, 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 to any other file uh, within the project here okay so for that purpose we have made this uh, class as public here so we will study in detail about this uh, access specifiers when we learn about object oriented features of uh, java programming language so next line we have uh, main so main is quite a bit different uh, like in contemporary programming language like c and c++ here we have public static void main so public means the main should be accessible anywhere within the program within the project and all the package uh, all the directories so static <coughs> which means that uh, the main should be called automatically without instantiating the class which contains the main here so void is very straightforward which means that uh, the main does not return anything so for that reason we have uh, indicating that it's a void and string args uh, were used here as a parameter inside the main to catch the command line arguments okay so later we do uh, a program in that uh, situation scenario also to handle the command line arguments and just display them or uh, work with that uh, data sent from the command line okay so next we have uh, system.out.println <coughs> using the object out uh, we are using this print ln method which is written inside a system class here okay so here <coughs> we have uh, a small message to print to the output screen here so once again if you run the program so you get that message displayed here okay so this is the basic uh, stuff about uh, uh, small java program uh, introduction to java programming uh, hello world so see you in the next lesson goodbye